Shalom. For every spiritual problem, there is a prophet meant for it. Until that prophet is located, you will never find solution. So, connect with your prophet today and unlock the purpose of your life. Shalom. Master prophet, the awakened one. Ihi kuru ne me o koro bia di mai o ni apuma ya huwa the great ya ihi kuru ne me o koro bia di mai be our spiritually than the awakening one ihi kuru ne me o koro bia di Onya mumma ya huwa the great sea ihi kuru ne me okoro bia di mai master prophet akana gloria ihi kuru ne me okoro bia di mai onya mumma ya huwa the great sea ani so kwagi na zo hokoro bia di mai master prophet onya mumma bia fura ani so kwagi na zo hokoro bia di mai onya mumma ya huwa the great sea ihi kuru ne me onya mumma ya huwa the great sea, the difference is clear. Shalom. It has been a long time. I have not said anything because I have been so much busy. Uh, Trump has made the world crazy. Trump has become a household name that everybody in the planet knows who Trump is. As I was saying this now, and I begin to hear something, I wanted to say something and my mind, you know, I don't want to, there is something I don't want to use, but let me use it. I don't want to say, God said. It is something that people always use. But I want to use the word that something came up in my mind. Remember, the Supreme made all things. And the Supreme gave you the ability to make everything that to create wealth. The Supreme gives, gave you the ability to have children. The Supreme made everything possible. Most of the time, we don't appreciate what Supreme the Most High has given to us. I just want to say that. Trump is now an household name. Everybody knows about Trump. But the man that created this household name, people has not appreciated it. I remember there was a brother of mine, his name is Francis. He's, he was living in China and right now He's uh, on holiday in Biafran land. When I was talking about Trump of 18, he called me and said, Master Prophet, I have been listening to your teachings and all you are saying about Trump. And I have heard all that the people are saying against you, insulting you, embarrassing you. But he said, please, make sure this prophecy comes to pass because if it doesn't come to pass <sighs> <laughs> the 
the prof when he says that fears came into me you see fear did not come into me when 99 percent of nigerian people or Igbo people that called me or the different people that called me when they hear when i'm talking about trump please you see me looking around i am waiting for for, for somebody to pick me up so don't mind me looking around okay so 99 percent of the nigerian people or the Igbo people or different people that calls me talk about this issue they said i am crazy they said i am mad they said i'm stupid they said like uh, the different brother in uh, hi in uh, vienna he said the prophet is mad he said i'm foolish i'm idiot i'm stupid how can this crazy man trump become the president of the united states but i was not you know mindful but when this brother in china brother felix even he's right now online when he said to me master prophet please please i beg you make sure this prophecy comes to pass i went back and i from that day he told me that i never stopped speaking to the most high concerning that prophecy that i gave today i have released my mouth and made trump the most powerful man in the face of the earth which no power no man no woman can remove him or overthrow him but trump still have not recognized me and everybody all around the world is taking credit but the man that created it nobody has giving me a bread or giving me a cup of tea or bringing me kai kai or bringing me schnapp or bringing me water or bringing me bulak none of them has done that remember before i started i said that the most high gives us all things but we never appreciate it remember that but this trump of a chain has made me to be careful for releasing blessing upon people or calling people to be a leader and not careful i will only do that somebody that i know that also it will benefit me because sometimes you release something and you don't know you know people don't know the meaning of being a prophet it's a different thing when maybe you call yourself you're a pastor or whatever whatever all those all those uh, uh, religious things political things is different a prophet when you declare thing the supreme begin to create agenda because of that which he declared when i was declaring trump 2011 that this man will be the president of the united states that the supreme has pleasure in it there was nobody in this face of the earth that has said i am saying that in the name of god or the lord or jehovah or whatever nobody in the face of the earth but today i am the least one if they are talking about people who are praying for donald trump people don't remember me even the different people they they rejoice more hearing it from a white man that did not even say about it that said about it after the election like the man they call king clement king clement the american prophet the different people the Igbo people the nigerian people shared the video but they never knew that this man never said it he made the voice recording after the election because his family to today cannot give me the proof that their father said it before the election because they don't have it they don't have it in tbn they don't have it where in youtube they don't have it in facebook they don't have it anywhere he only made a voice recording two months or one month before he died and now they are using it they are stealing my prophecy they are stealing 
my glory. This is how when some good things has happened to you, you don't give glory to the supreme. You take it. You steal it. Okay? The all around the world, people don't have not recognized me as they are working the one of the different people. He that can create, he that can appoint the most powerful man in the face of the earth. Still, I'm still going to walk, walking with my hand. Normally, if I'm a pastor of a church, of all this, at least people would have been bringing me offering. If I am, let's say if I'm T.B. Joshua, I don't want to be him. And T.B. Joshua got it right that Hillary Clinton became the president. 80% of Nigerians would be giving him offering to today. But he got it wrong. Still, he's still receiving offering. How many Nigerian people, how many Igbo people that has come to their working one and said thank you? You see, I, my mouth, created the most powerful man in the face of the earth. And my mouth will preserve him. Through the mouth of the prophet, the supreme, deliver Israel out of Egypt. And through the mouth of the prophets, the supreme preserved them. Listen, that thing didn't happen. Okay? Okay, unless you are stupid. The supreme did not bring Israel out of Egypt. I'm just using the word. So, the supreme, by spoken word that I spoke, Donald Trump is now the most powerful man in the face of the earth. Nobody can remove him. And I have already blessed him that his offspring will rule America in years to come. You can't beat that. I will be careful. Two days ago in the morning, I don't know whether this brother will hear me. The brother made me upset and I shed tears. I just returned from Denmark and I gave him a job to do. And I traveled to Denmark. I said, please take care of this job. This job is important for me. Before I came, him and his beanie wife they spoiled the job for me. When I came, I lost the contract. And I have an agreement with him that I give him money at the end of the month. Two days later, the wife called him and said, they need money, they need money, they need money. This is the brother that I saw on the street. And I said, do you need a job? Come, I'll give you a job. Because I will be traveling. I want somebody that will be doing the job till I'm back. The wife, I overheard the wife saying, which kind of prophet, or this kind of stupid prophet. They were on the street. I looked at the wife. She looked so tattered. I said, come, let me give you people this job. So at the end of the day, I cursed him. I said, as long as Yahoo are living, this wife, this woman will be a problem to you. And she will be, you are done for. I got to go. And the guy called me yesterday and said, the woman has run off with another man and that he's destroyed. So there is power in the mouth of the prophet. Please, I gotta go. I speak to you again. Shalom. Shalom. This is the master prophet, young Joshua Yawins, speaking from Bayern, Germany, where Yahuwah speaks to his servant the prophet. In the morning I was talking about Donald Trump made has made the world crazy. And before I started talking about Donald Trump made the world crazy, I said something. I said that the Supreme or the world who is God given us has given us everything here on the planet Earth. And so many people has a lot of money, but they don't give glory to the Supreme or to the Most High or to Yah or to Yahweh or to Yahuwah or Elohim. They don't give glory to Him. Or Amen. Amen Ra. Read to 
those things. You know, the whole world are getting crazy. But the thing that they get they are getting crazy about, they never wait and think, who created this thing? I am the one that created the prophecy of Donald Trump. And when I created it, I was like a fool. The Nigerians, the Biafrans, the Igbos, even some Americans wrote me and said, Man, which kind of weed are you smoking? They said to me, You're smoking weed. My mother said to me, I'm crazy. My relative mocked me. They laughed me. One so-called IPOV member that lives in Vienna, now he has a church, young, different young Christian assembly. He said, I'm crazy, that I'm mad. One brother from China, one Biafran brother from China, only one among 99, he, is, he was the only one that said, Master Prophet, I trust you. I know your ability and your capability, but please make sure this prophecy comes to pass because this prophecy is too deep. It's too strong. It is deep. And from 2011 and 2014, 15, I yawn, groan every day. Increase, channel my energy to make sure that that prophecy never fall into the ground. And that thing has come to pass now. Now, everybody, every pastor, all the pastors in the world, Pastors in America, they are taking the glory. But I am the one that created it. In fact, when I spoke it, then the Supreme said yes, because they are working the one of the different people have spoken. It shall come to pass. And the Most High and all the Malak or the angels, they were just running around. Even if the power that be, the Illuminati, the special interest, the global interest, Democratic Party, Republican Party said no, it did not happen. But the universe ran around. I was where I am, the Supreme, and all the angels were just running around trying to fix that election. And that election came to pass. You see, if Donald Trump were defeated, I don't think I would have been, been able to speak today. I know my people, the dear friends, will remind me that I'm a false prophet. They will say to me, look, you're a false prophet, shut up. But when that prophecy came to pass, rather they dig more, they dug holes for themselves and they failed to appreciate or recognize. I have learned something, but I am not uttering a negative word concerning my friend Donald Trump. He called me. He has not appreciated me. He has not sent me bullock or offering. Because I created that. I, cre I used my energy, my power created that. But he has not appreciated me. So, but I am not withdrawing support from him. He will continue to rule the United States. His answer, his offspring will rule the United States. That will be, it shall come to pass one day, another Trump will rule America. And I have declared it. But I have learned something, not to give my power to somebody that will not come and bring me offering. Because that thing is my energy. The power that I use to meditate and, and speak to the universe and, and, and uh, 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 channel that the source where the source where everything started, pay attention to my word 
and accomplish that which I have spoken. If I use that energy and say maybe I want to use that energy to attract 100 women, that means a lot of women would, would have been running around over me. At least I have a lot to enjoy. But I use that energy to make somebody to be the most powerful man in the face of the earth. But I have not gotten a cup of water. So I have learned not to do that again. Before I will put any man in the highest place, that man must come. That man or that woman must come and show appreciation. I thought when the prophecy of Donald Trump comes to pass that our people will understand me or appreciate me. Even the prophecies that I made during Nandekano and other things that has transpired around them and the prophecy of uh, not being killed in prison and all those things came to pass still. Some of our people are digging their grave. But I will send my energy or something also that will profit me, not things that will not profit me. I know in the next two, three, four, five hundred years, my offspring will talk about this. And the men and women will wake up one day, maybe in the next 1,000 years, they will talk about the wars and awakened one of the different people who spoke and created the most powerful man in the face of the earth. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. But sometimes I look, I said, why don't I just Hebrews or the Biafrans or the Nigerians or the black people who are preaching, teaching with the name of Jesus and use it to make a lot of money. But whatever they do shall not endure forever. But this which I do or I teach shall stand forever. Shalom. <laughs> Abu Monye, Master Prophet Nechire Mechi Chomai. Abu Monye Nuwai, Onye Kambu Nuwa. Abu Monye, Onya Moma Yahuwa Nechire Mechi Chomai. Abu Monye Nuwa, Onye Kambu Nuwa. Abu Monye, Master Prophet Nechere Mechi Chomae. Abu Monye Nuwae, Onye Kambu Nuwa. Abu Monye, Master Prophet Nechere Mechi Chomae. Abu Monye Nuwae, Onye Kambu Nuwa. Abu Monye, Master Prophet Nechere Mechi Chomae. Abu Monye Nuwae, Onye Kambu Nuwa. Abu Monye, 